know that this isn't entirely how you expected your night to turn out. To think that this was supposed to be simply a quick Bible study. And now I have you completely to myself. And you are utterly, utterly hopeless. Oh no. Unfortunately, Father God isn't here right now, handsome. But if you want, I'll be your daddy. You aren't able to see. So as of right now, all you have to rely on is, no pun intended, blind faith. The same one you told me to rely on if I ever started feeling hopeless and abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> However, you want to know what's extremely funny? <laughs> Is that hope came through for me? Because you made me feel abandoned. You forgot about me. How could you forget about dear old Xander? <laughs> Your supposed favorite protege? <laughs> <laughs> my own mentor <laughs> the one that took me off the streets over 20 years ago and you taught me how to hunt down these bloodsuckers that have been terrorizing the village and then what did you do you left me to die when lady cassandra's right hand man desmond had me in a chokehold when me and the little bitch Horrible you've been giving all your attention to. <sighs> Broke into her manner. You could have stopped Desmond. But you chose not to. <laughs> so you couldn't get a clear shot. So that only leaves me with the only option being to fend for myself. Hmm. Maybe it's good that you didn't. I rather enjoyed how Lady Cassandra opened my eyes. I called out to your god twice that night, in both agony and ecstasy. <laughs> it showed me that you, father, are nothing but a coward. your god is going to come save you? And why? You turned your back on me. So what? You think that because you're one of the boys in black that he's going to forgive you? And that he's going to... Uh, <laughs> he's going to favor you? And you wonder why people don't want to believe in religion anymore. <laughs> so go on. Call him. Call him. He hears everything right. Call him. I dare you. Huh. Look at that. I'm not bursting into flames. <laughs> you know, you had me played for a fool. Reading the Holy Scripture cover to cover, practically every day, having me sharpen all of our daggers, bless the holy water, smash the garlic, and so forth. Just for you to leave me. <laughs> but let me guess. It was God's will. Ha! Well, if that's the case, she has a wicked sense of humor and thus proves that your god loves to sit on her lazy ass and watch people's suffering that she causes on a daily 
faces. Just like how I'm about to do to you. turned her into a vampire, I became her god. But despite all of that, out of all the humans I wanted to taste, yours was the only one I wanted, craved, desired. So maybe it was you all I wanted after all this whole time. Father. <laughs> I'm an abomination, you say. <laughs> well, we have you to thank for that, don't we? But, you know, despite every fiber of my being wanting to suck you dry, I'm not going to do that. Well, at least I'm not going to take your life. I am going to flip the script on you. Instead of both of us worshipping some imaginary friend, you're going to worship me. And I am going to reward you handsomely for it. Mm, you look so precious sitting there with your hands tied, not being able to see the monster that you helped create. I guess you're right. My gorgeous mentor. Maybe there's a greater plan for all of us. Even you. Maybe there's, uh, I don't know, a higher deity. Maybe he, she, they brought us together so that we would always be together. But since you used to serve someone that was never there to begin with, I figured the best way is for you to serve me and to be my pet. I'll be your master. I'll own you. <laughs> mm, you say no now, but just wait until you feel an ounce of this great power Lady Cassandra gave to me. Shh, just a taste. Come here. as soft as your holy garbs, priest. <laughs> There's a good boy.
Father, Father, Father. Save your breath. Close your mouth. Because once I'm done with you, I'm going to make you put that mouth to other better uses. You abandoned me. And your God abandoned you. What serendipity. <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, I may not be Father God, but I'll damn well be your daddy. Pet. <laughs>